This is a Stipple Wild video. If you don't have Stipple Wild, these instructions are not going to work in the regular uh, version of Stipple. So if you want to give Stipple Wild a try, uh, try, just shoot me a message. If you're cool, maybe I'll let you use it. Uh, all right, so I'm going to launch Stipple Wild. I'm going to go to New Drawing. Uh, for my source image, um, I'm going to use a skull because those are usually the easiest to work with and what am i going to show you guys i'm going to show you the fill bucket and the fill bucket is definitely not an effect that's complete yet but it can do some cool stuff and uh luda and uh brian have done some real cool stuff with it uh i'm gonna leave everything else now actually you know what let's use white dots black background and leave everything else as is okay start drawing all right so up at the top we've got this fill bucket and when we click it it drops down a new menu um so if we were to just hit this button watch what happens usually it takes a little bit there's a little bit of a stall and and i'll go into that in a second but what that did was it simulates a finger press at different parts of the screen so it is uh it's doing it's like you see how i'm just kind of clicking on the screen it's basically just doing that on every part of the screen um oh i mean uh yeah like on every in in a set pattern throughout the screen <clears throat> so in this set pattern uh this first slider um depicts the uh you could call it resolution or the amount of presses so or the like the amount of presses per width of the screen so when it's to the left it's very loose and when it's to the right it's very tight however and this is why this effect i call this i say this effect isn't done is because if we pull this to the right and we hit go you see this long stall and you don't even know that it's stalling it's just like it's frozen and if you keep clicking on the screen, it's gonna it's gonna Android operating system is gonna act though it's crashing. This effect can take uh, at least thirty seconds. Look at this. Uh, I'm gonna say wait. When that thing pops up, if you say wait, it'll wait. But look what it did. It just drew this image for us. So this this is kind of uh, auto art. This is kind of what. This isn't really what Stipple's about, right? I don't I don't necessarily like just one click you're done stuff but it is a pretty cool effect i mean this drew our our image right away uh despite that very long delay so just know if you're playing with this effect expect that your phone might start to feel kind of hot that you're doing a lot of processes it's i i haven't figured out how to get it to work um this bar right here you'll see that this uh the bar the button that i've been pressing i don't want to accidentally hit this uh, the button that I've been pressing, this big one, that's the uh, that's the go button or whatever, execute or fill. Uh, but the one underneath it, that bar, that's supposed to be a status bar uh, to indicate that you know the app's working. But I couldn't get it to work right, so I kind of just gave up on it. Um, so as we pull this slider to the right, we end up with. Uh, you could call it higher resolution which um however uh okay so just so you know that what's going on here is that all these effects or all these uh settings are getting applied when you hit that button as if you were just tapping on the screen a bunch of times as i said before so uh, it all deter. Uh, if you if you make real small dots and you make a really wide brush and you turn that density up and you hit go on this, expect to wait for forty five seconds. I haven't built this very well. It's almost slower than if you were just. I think it is. It's slower than if you were just applying the effect yourself. Um, uh, as I said, this, Stipple Wild is not a finished product. Uh, the reason this is not in the actual version of Stipple is because uh, it's it's 
junk. It's not finished. But let's uh, let's explore the cool stuff you can do with this because uh, just an auto draw. I mean, who cares? It's kind of nice that it, it applies the effect so evenly. However, I don't think it's that much fun to play with. Uh, so I'm going to trash this. But watch this. Let's go with a big dot. Like a big dot range. So our max dot is, is going to be on the right. Actually, let's hit the plus button. Let's make it real big. <clears throat> now pull brush size all the way down. Pull density all the way down. And uh, if you were... And I'm going to shut off the um, auto threshold. Because auto threshold is still operating when you're using this. So you'll find that uh, if you shut auto threshold off, often this fill bucket works a little bit better. But watch this. It... it if I wasn't hitting the fill button, um, like this is what I'd be drawing with right now, right? So I'm I'm drawing the skull, but just with like real big dots. So say I were to try to draw this out like a pattern. Uh, I did a really bad job. Um, but here's the cool thing. So watch this. As I said... The fill bucket works as if you're simulating dot presses, but in this case, you're simulating dot presses evenly distributed in a grid throughout the screen. Watch. So now we have that kind of traditional halftone effect. Uh, let's reposition this. So that's because we have real big dots going to real small dots, and... Since we have the brush size and density all the way down, we're only putting a dot at the point of execution, like at where the finger press would be, right? So it's like at these places. And since it's doing it in a grid, it gives us this cool patterned look. So this is an easy way to demonstrate what this drop down does. So if we put this on hex as opposed to grid, you'll see that it lays out these dots in a hexagonal grid as opposed to uh, just a, a, a square grid. And now if we push this slider to the left, you'll see that there's so few dots that you can't even make out the skull. And if you pull this to the right, you'll see that the dots overlap to the point where uh, it just kind of looks like a traditional halftone effect. Kind of cool stuff. Um, now, but if you put it in the middle, let's make these dots a little bit smaller. Now watch this. If we keep applying this effect, it creates this uh, a pattern in it, in it of itself. These triangle, like a triangle grid within the uh, hexagonal grid. So you can do some cool stuff with that. Like if we were to use, uh, if we were to use different colors. So that's an interesting effect right there. Um, so that's what the these two do, the grid and the hex. Random grid uh, applies it in a grid shape, but then offsets the dot by a, a random amount. So then you end up with um, a less pattern distribution. And random hex just almost does the same thing, or it, it does the same thing, just uses the hex grid. It offsets it by a random amount. Uh, and it, the it would be the uh, the simulation of the, the finger press. So think of the fill button, not necessarily as the Microsoft Office traditional fill bucket, but more just uh, simulating a bunch of finger presses at certain points in the, in the screen. And then it, it goes off of this. So these are probably the settings that are most interesting to use. And that's with the brush size at nothing, density at nothing, and then uh, dot size, uh, just at whatever, you know, season to taste or whatever. Um, but that'll give you these cool... The, these cool uh, halftone-esque patterns. So... Let's see, what are we at? About 10 minutes. I think that wraps this up. Uh, you can apply this the same way that you uh, use anything. 
You can uh, load stuff in the color map and the mask and the jitter. It's a cool way to get very even distribution. But again, there's no feedback to tell you when it's working. And sometimes you've applied the effect and it's just whatever settings you had, like just resulted in very few dots. And you don't notice that any dots got put on. So now you're thinking that the app is working, uh, but it's not actually working. So I'll show you a trick. If you're hung up, let's make it stall out. So these are, these settings should hang up the app a little bit. So as, what I'm expecting to happen right here is if I hit the go button, there's going to be a, a, a long delay. And, uh, I don't want it to be too long, so let's put it down a little bit. There's going to be a long delay within hitting the, the button and seeing the effect. But there's not going to be any feedback. So you're going to be like, what's going on? Now, one thing you can do is just try to gently tap the, uh, the slider bar. And if it doesn't move, that means the app's working. Uh, I mean, the app is working on your drawing. If it moves, that means the app has applied the effect. So, I mean, this is pretty cool. Just auto drew that. Damn. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Anyway, have fun. Thanks for watching.